He's the undisputed king of underground comedy. You've seen him in Friday After Next, The Pimp Chronicles 1 and 2. It's Pimpin' Pimpin', American Hustle, Catpocalypse, Cat Williams Live, Wild and Out, and more. He shut down the internet single-handedly. He's knocked out everyone from 108 to 308 pounds. He's back and better than ever. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to chuck shit going on, not just in the world, it's a lot of shit going on with me. I don't know if you checked it out, I was going through some shit. They arrested me five times in five cities in five days. What the fuck? <laughs> Bitch, I am not the international man of mystery. What the fuck? They arrested me so much, as soon as I see the police, my body just automatically assumes the position. Just. <laughs> See how I made the hog tie available? Cause they know I like to fight. <laughs> it's fucked up. I got arrested in a Target. How the fuck do you go to jail in an electronic superstore? <laughs> the white man at the Target caught me off guard. He called me a pussy and a nigga and a pussy and a nigga and a pussy and a nigga and... I said, I am not fitting to be one of these. <laughs> Bam! What the fuck did I just do? What the fuck? Say, life has a way of sometimes sending you subtle wake-up calls. Anytime you are standing next to Suge Knight and you are the person going to jail, that is a wake-up call for your ass. I'm into pictures like this. shit together. It's fucked up. I said to myself, I don't know what the fuck's going on. We gonna have to figure this shit out. Used to be, if I had some problems, I could go to my therapist at the weed place. <laughs> yeah, Ontario still got weed places. <laughs> couple over here, couple over here, couple over here. I was in LA. Ain't no weed places in LA. They got a dispensary. I don't know what the fuck that shit means, but I think it means big as fuck. <laughs> you are just in that motherfucker. Just... <laughs> Why do I have a shopping cart? <laughs> I'm just saying, you are not supposed to have 500 different types of deliciousness in the same place at the same time. Got niggas overdosing from smelling too much weed. Mmm, <laughs> that is blueberry. That's blueberry for real. That is... Fresh as shit right there. That white fire, I ain't never even smelled real fire before. That is delicious. Girl Scout cookies, I love them. Do you have thin mints? 
fucked up. And I should have stayed out there where it was safe with the leafy products, with the bud. But they got a room in the back. That's right, they got a, this shit right here, nigga. They got one of them rooms in the back. You gotta be careful in that motherfucker. All they got back there is concentrate, spackle, sparkle, wax, butter, dabs, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. You be thinking to yourself, much motherfucking weed is I done smoke. I ain't scared of shit. I don't give a fuck what type of motherfucking weed it is. That's what you be saying. <laughs> then they come over and put that little thing on there and walk off. And you be like, that little booger right there can't hurt no motherfucking body. Don't you believe it? It's like hitting 300 blunts at the same damn time. At the same damn time. I fucked around and got my high high. Do you realize how difficult that is to do? That, you know when you done got too motherfucking high. You just, uh, mm, 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 fuck that nigga, I, I got too high, mm, mm. Fuck you, I saw where the Illuminati live, nigga. Get me the fuck up out of here, where's my car? I just... <laughs> Fucked up. But no matter, what the fuck was going on with me? I couldn't be depressed. We Americans. If you motherfucker watch the news, America don't give a fuck about a tragedy. We are the shit. I'm not saying we the greatest country in the world, but we the greatest country in the world. And everybody knows it. Not, not because we're better. Not because of that. Tragedy happens to everybody. But as Americans, we don't give a fuck about tragedy. Our motherfucking motto should be, fuck out of here. <laughs> Soon as we get a tragedy, we fuck out of here. That's our shit. <laughs> fuck out of here. That's so proud of America. First time we saw it was the Oklahoma City tornado. I ain't never seen no shit like that. That changed my motherfucking life. I don't give a fuck what's going on at your house. Nothing is worse than getting to your house and your house is not there anymore. <laughs> your GPS keeps saying, you are here. <laughs> Bullshit, I left a house in this bitch. I remember that shit specifically. That's some fucked up shit. How the fuck do that feel for you to wake up and your whole city be gone? Like you done missed the rapture or some shit. You just wake up to... <laughs> Jesus, you couldn't have woke a nigga up? <laughs> it's fucked up. Cause black people know we ain't ready for that shit. We just figured out what to do in case of eviction. <laughs> we just figured out if the police show up, like they on your side. Just thank God you showed up, officer. <laughs> Could you hold that microwave? Thank you so much. Kids, get on out of here. Let this officer help us. <laughs> it don't matter, though. As America, we too gangster. We don't care. America's too motherfucking gangster. And it don't take a whole bunch of Americans to represent America, neither. Ain't gonna be one white woman in a field by herself missing teeth. <laughs> and she can represent America just fine. They'll be right in the field just, ma'am, a tornado just came and tore down your whole city. What are you gonna do? 